Hi there, it's Travelling Jones. I just want to um, just make a short video just to explain that um, all MPEG-4 or MP4 files are not all the same, they're not all equal. So what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to take that footage that wouldn't play in Nero, the one that stuttered, and I'm going to take it through Nero Recode and then I'm going to put it back into Pinnacle and let you see what happens. Right, this is the suspect clip that caused the problem in Pinnacle yesterday, so I'll just open it up in VLC Media Player. You can see it's playing okay. Now, the nice thing about VLC, and I just um, up upgraded to the latest version this morning, is that will give you information on the file that you've got. So let me just figure out where this is. Um, media Information. It's under Tools codec so it's an mpeg4 video mp4v resolution 720 by 576 frame rate 24.99 which 25 decoded planner 4.2.0 blah 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 okay so that's telling me about this particular file now this is the file I would not work in pinnacle so just let's have another look at this. Let's get Pinnacle up and running again. So this is the problem that we had with it. It's awful, absolutely awful. So I don't really want to cover all ground. Yeah. Anyway, that's a problem that we had yesterday. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up near a recode Nero will then recode the video, so it says import video files. So let me just go and get this here. This is the one. This is the operating window for Nero recode. So it's asking me where do I want to save it to. Select the folder, that's it. So quality recommended setting, maximum size none, where do you want to store it? We've done that. So down the bottom here we just click on OK. And it's giving you a list. We've only got one job in the list. That's it. So down the bottom here, start encoding. And you can see the progress here as this MPEG-4 file is recoded. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this file and put it back into Pinnacle. And we'll see if recoding this file has made a difference. Right, we're nearly there. There we go, job done, finished. Okay, so I can play this now. I can click on play. This is the file that we've just recoded. Let's just see if it's playing fine. It was playing fine before, but we're just playing it again. Okay, so this is the recoded file. Right, so let's close this and let's get Pinnacle up and running. Here we go. File, new, movie. Now the thing I don't like about Pinnacle is this, is this opening page. I'm not sure what you can do about that. Um, and it also leaves remnants of other projects up here. So, to me, it's 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 not what I would call a clean, um, a clean opening. But I want to use the old clip, so that's the original clip that we had the problems with. That's the that's the original clip. So I'll just um, alter this so we can see the whole, the whole clip, the whole timeline, and nothing but the timeline. This is a pain having to do this. There you go. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in the new clip, so let's have a look. It's, there's a small icon here, quick import, recoded Macclesfield video. This is the one here that we want. I hope this is the same, this is the right one. See this scrubs, this scrubs fine, it's been recoded. The original one doesn't scrub at all, but this one does. So it just goes to show you, my friends, that not all MPEG-4 files are the same. 
that's an mp4 file that's an mp4 file if you look at the properties on this which we did yesterday but we'll do it again display information it says there it's where's the the, the frame aspect 4 by 3 1.32 frames per second that's what this that's what pinnacle is seeing this clip as let's have a look at this one here display information take it down and it's seeing it's 24.99 frames per second so so recoding that clip has made a tremendous difference now why it was necessary to recode it i don't know but you know you two might be having problems but we're here to help each other out so knowing that you can use nero recode it'll take that that footage that won't play properly recode it for you so that you can do something useful with it so i hope this video has helped you take care and i'll catch you next time bye